I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I treasure this, my T-shirt is old. It reminds me of the good time I had in Adelaide at, in Australia. I want, I'm still talking about fear. And I want to talk about the fear of man. I've spoken about the fear of God. The fear of man will turn to become a snare. A snare is the rope that is used to trap animals. Used to trap animals. So a, a, the fear of man will become a trap. One of the things that happened to me when I got born again is that boldness come, came into my life. So I've not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and a sound mind. I respect people. I treasure people. I honor people. I respect organograms. But if you fear people, you will be trapped. You cannot fully express yourself. I used to be a very shy person, quite a timid person, even though I was humorous. Somebody told me recently that he didn't know I had this kind of potentials in me when we were young. That was about 52 years back. The simple truth was that I was still caged by what men will say and the, the fear of men, the consequences of their being angry with me. I got to a certain stage in life and that yoke got broken. And since that time, the potentials in me started being made more manifest. And self-actualization became tangible. When you fear people's impressions, you fear people's comments, you fear whether people will like you or not, you fear whether you will lose their friendship, you fear whether they will invite you to their ceremonies. I was discussing with somebody that he went to a, a, a burial of a young man who was flogging his father who was alive, when he was alive, he went for the burial ceremony. That young man was flogging his father when the man was alive. And the man died, he started sharing, shedding crocodile tears and invited his friends and relatives to come and bury him and drink. I told him I will not, I will not go to such ceremonies and I hardly attend ceremonies. He said that uh, if you don't attend people's ceremonies, they will not attend your own. That is a snare. If you don't attend my ceremonies, the number of people I will feed will be drastically reduced. The number of, the amount of money I will spend will be drastically reduced. In fact, most times people complain that I didn't invite them. I don't care. I don't care. Man will eventually disappoint you. Very few people will stand with you in times of need and when the chips are down. So what's, what's your business with the impression of people? Don't fear man. Respect them. Value them. Treat them with dignity. But when there is a contradiction between the will of God and the fear of man, please stay with God. Because one with God is a majority. And until you break away from the fear of man, you can never fully actualize yourself. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you. <laughs>